Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I want to touch on the subject of crossing and should your players be crossing in Football Manager? To do so, I want us to have a look and establish a baseline. This is a chart by The Athletic that shows us for the period of 2010 until 2020. 10 years period in which we can see that the average crossing success rate in top leagues in Europe is about 20%. Now, 21 is above average, 19... 18 is below average. I found a stat that Alexander Arnold two seasons ago was crossing with above 30%, and uh, top 15 in the Premier League were crossing with about 22% success rate. So I think it's fair to say that 30 is amazing, 20 ish is average, and below 18, like 17, 16, is poor crossing now i started doing this because while doing some tests to figure out what different roles do to attacking midfielders on the left and on the right i noticed first of all that yes wingers are putting a lot of crosses when i mean a lot of crosses you can see that vinny jr at playing as a winger on the right puts in around nine crosses per 90 on average and uh yeah this makes sense because the winger has cross more often and cross from byline which is like an instruction to cross it as often as he can and as you can expect the crossing from byline would mean that probably the success rate is not going to be great but yet again Vinny Jr. has 13 crossings so the question is how much crossing is actually good because 13 is it, it's not bad like if you have a striker with 13 finishing you're gonna be like yeah he can he, he's okay but you're depending also on his composure, technique, a lot of other things. So crossing, 13 crossing, resulting in, like these are 65 seasons of Vinny Jr. playing on, on the left and on the right. He never, never reached 19% success rate. And uh, this is kind of weird. Okay, this test is kind of flawed because, first of all, he was playing as a striker as well, a clone of himself, as a complete forward on support, so he was probably not in advanced positions. He's probably not the best header of the ball as well. And it was him on the other wing as well. But yet again, 19% successful crosses. This is too low. And then I went back and checked at some different stats for different experiments that I was doing with different roles, different players. And as you can see, we have Mbappe, we have Vinny, we have Erling Holland, we have uh, Jamal Musiala playing as left and right attacking uh, midfielders and while this is around 170 individual seasons barely more than 30 of them are above average in terms of cross completion rate and while you can make the argument for the other experiment that yeah when you have Vinny Jr up top with a complete forward on support it's going to be different if you have a target forward now you're looking at Jamal Musiala's seasons and he has 10 crossing which is that average and uh yeah he has some seasons with average crossing success rate when he was playing as an inverted winger a rom deuter and it was Erling Holland up top with an attacking role so yeah if you had Holland up top maybe crossing could be better but as we continue scrolling down you can see that with Holland up top he also has a 10 uh, percent success rate uh, when he was deep lying forward but as a trequartista Holland uh, 11, yeah, okay. Now it is obvious that the role of the striker makes sense and maybe how many strikers you have, but as you can see also as poacher Holland, Jamal Musiawa's open play crosses success rate was about 15, which is still low. And yeah, on the other hand, you also have Kylian Mbappe. He has 15 crossing, which is a good amount, really good amount, 15 crossing. He actually had a season with 33% success rate with... Uh, Vinny Jr. as Trequartista up top. Maybe here we have Ernie Holland on the other side. I'm not really sure. It doesn't really matter. The more important thing here is to notice that of 170 different instances of players playing on the left and on the right, in under 30 of them, they actually managed to achieve above average compared to real life success rate. And now I want us to have a discussion how often should we actually let our players cross? And shouldn't we consider using cross less often more often? I also want to turn your attention to the fact that these stats vary a lot, by the way, in terms of whether your player is playing in inverted or not, whether his strong foot is on the side of the pitch that he's playing, because when they are there, they tend to cross more. And their crossing 
usually, from what I've seen, is actually better when they're playing as inverted because they're crossing from different positions. They're crossing from deep and they are using the crosses not as an option to do something with the ball when they're running down the byline and they're closed down by a defender. And the only thing for them right now is to either take the defender one-on-one -on -one or cross it. While they're inverting, they actually have a lot more options. They can pass it, they can dribble, they can get backwards maybe. And then when they decide that they're going to be crossing, their crosses are more intended, if I can say so, and they have better completion rate. You can also see that outside of Mbappe having like over 20% success rate in individual seasons, the other players as well, Vinny Jr. with 13 crossing, Erling Holland with 12, they also had seasons with a good success rate, but it was when they were playing around Deuters or as inverted forwards, inverted wingers. So keep that in mind. Now, I'm going to let you decide for yourself how to use this information, but I personally am going to use cross less often a lot more. Now, let me know what you think on the subject of crossing in the comments down below. Have I done a mistake here? Am I wrong? How much crossing is enough? And how often should you use it? Yeah, I do understand that sometimes it's the only option when someone depending with low block is way easier to pump balls into the box and if you have good target forwards you can depend on it like if it is difficult to create chance in a different way but if you're winning a game why cross it you can always try and use a different option or prefer a different option if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and see you next time bye bye